بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى says فعلا أنه لا إله إلا الله وصغف لذنبك الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم then know that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and seek forgiveness for your sins in this ayat, it allows for us to ponder perhaps three, just on the, the, the overall basic meaning of the ayat. There's three big fighters. The first one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us with ilm. Fa'lam, annuhu la ilaha illallah. First, he ordered us with knowledge. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu said, Man yaridullahu bihi khayran yafaqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. The Prophet sallallahu said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmisuhu bihi ilman sahalallahu luhu tariqan ila jannah. That whoever traverses the path of knowledge, meaning the knowledge of ilm nafiyah, beneficial knowledge, which is Islamic knowledge, that Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So the first benefit we gain from that ayat is that, that it shows us the importance of knowledge. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, the, the, shows us subhanahu wa ta'ala out of His grace, mercy, and favor what we need knowledge of. He said, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He said, and know that there is no God except Allah. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ so know that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. So that's the second fight or the second benefit we gain from that ayah is it shows us that the knowledge we need is of Islam, is of Allah, and knowledge of Tawheed. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. That He created and planned in everything everything and He gives His risk, you know, our wealth and our provisions, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That he's the only one who all of our worship should be uh, devoted to. That we supplicate to him. We make salat to him. We uh, make hajj and we fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of that is a part of Tawheed. And that Allah subhanahu wa, has, subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes. Mentioned in the Quran. And mentioned in authentic hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we affirm them as Allah affirmed them. And as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed them. And we negate what Allah negates. And what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam negated. That's the Tawheed we're talking about. فَعْلَمْ أَنُّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذِنْبِكَ And the third fight that we get from this ayat is seeking forgiveness for your sins. And in fact the ayat goes on to say, وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذِنْبِكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذِنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَمُؤْمِنَاتِ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and seek forgiveness for yourself and for the believing men and the believing women. And what a better time, or there is no better time to be doing that than now. We're in the holy month of Ramadan, supplicating to Allah. Increase your knowledge about Tawheed. Increase uh, uh, your dua. And affirm Tawheed by worshiping Allah alone and striving to attain taqwa. Staying away from what Allah prohibited, doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded, and seeking forgiveness for your sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for what we do in the morning and in the night, and throughout the day. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the ikhlas with the bat, and protect us from kulli suwa makru. And may Allah forgive us for our many, many sins, and bless the Muslims everywhere, and bless creation with guidance to kitab wa sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.